Hi guys and welcome back to the episode 9 of the Girl Garden series. I'm finally back and the series will now continue as normal. So in the last episode we had a few issues. So when we were here you can see that we are no longer spawning at our plot. And yeah, we will be fixing this now. So the problem lies in our, um, in our shop service since it's not returning anything since it's stuck pretty much and yeah we are going to fix this um right now and yeah so first of all we want to go up and we want to uh so this is all good this is all good the load save is all good the safe current is all good the restock is working the get stock is okay the decrement stock is also working everything here is okay uh, this and now we yeah the start recurring restock is also good and the initialized stock that's what's uh that's where it's not working so we need to make a function um and it's gonna be called uh init and then this function we do pass dot spawn this one function and we spawn the local saved data then we equal to load save stock. And then if type uh, with the save data is equal to table, then um, we just do the local uh, last restock and stuff. And then, uh, yeah, we just copy this whole thing. Uh, yeah, just this whole thing. Uh, we just paste it here. No, uh, wrong. We paste it here. Uh, so we check if it's a table, if it is, then we do this, and then if it's just in restock, then we do uh, start recurring restocks. Let's make sure you get this function too. Um, yeah, just make sure you have this. And then, yeah, else we just do this, and else we also start recurring restocks and then we can just remove this and we can just remove all of this crap and now what we want to do is we just want to head back to our server and then once we got our shop service we just want to do shop service in it and now it's working again so now when we go play see that we are now at our plot again everything is good and you can see we can buy seats, but it's not getting us multiple. And yeah, so this is going to be the fix uh, for the for this one. Also in the shop handler, you can see it's getting us um, data store requests for it uh, with adding to queue. I just want to fix this. So in the shop handler, in 84, let's see what's going on. You see that it's currently not working that well. Uh, so let's go ahead and see our shop handler at line 84. What's going on there? And here we just print the seat name. Okay. I see. So what we want to do is instead of updating this as sync, we just want to do so when the player leaves. Okay, so we want to go ahead and make a few changes to this now. So what we want to do is let's go all the way up and start at the top. So this is all looking good. Uh, with the load one, it's also looking good. With the safe one, it's also all good the get started is looking good the restock uh we don't want to save the current stock so in the restock we want to change some stuff um so we want to in the shop service restock get the new stock then we do this uh for the seat name the get started thing we then do this and then uh 
or we do everything. Um, we can also just go ahead and put this here, just to make it way easier, um, way smaller to run. And then like this, and then what we want to do is we want to just do this here. Uh, no, not there. Uh, here. And that's pretty much it. We can move this from here. Uh, the get stock remains the same. The decrement stock we have to change. Uh, so what we want to do is we just want to much just get this function and then just replace the whole thing with this and replace this one just with the self dot current just with this pretty much yeah that's the whole thing. And then in the init, uh, we just want to pretty much just go ahead and with the save data, we check if it's a table. And yeah, then we do, uh, we check the last restock with the now. And then we want to restock like this. And then we also do like this. And then what we want to do is we can just remove this function and just remove it from here, remove it from here, remove it from here. And then, yeah, we can remove this as itself, this too, and this also. And then we can go ahead and Afterwards, we can do class that spawn uh, function and we do while true do uh, task await restock interval and then self restock. And then if game and then call is server. Uh, oh, yeah, we, we can just do game. And then bind to close. And then we connect the function to this. And then we save current stock. And then player stop player removing. Connect function. Uh, player. And then we check if hashtag players uh, get players. Um, is less than or equal to one, then we do task the defer, and then we also save the current stock. So yeah, pretty much like this. And then when we load in, we see that we can now buy, and it's not printing this anymore. And when we now leave and rejoin, you can see that it's still saved without all the warnings. So this is good and yeah this is the second bug fix for today as you can see when we leave it's uh complaining again uh so what we want to do is we want to we just want to get this out of the function Actually, both of those we want to get them out of the function. So, like here. And then we want to go play again. Yeah, buy one, leave. It's a warning, but it should, it's working as you can see. So, there's one left. Everything is working good. And yeah, so now, now once we got this, we want to just be able to open the shop right now. So let's go ahead and uh, pretty much just disable this for right now. We want to add a part. I'm just going to drag this here. I'm just going to name this shop. I'm going to add a proximity prompt. 
and then I'm gonna add a script there. I'm gonna do script dot parent dot trigger connect function player, and then we want to make a remote event. We want to um, name this um, uh, make frame visible. And then what we want to do is replicate storage, grab child remote events, grab child make frame visible, and fire client, and then we want to fire the shop. Uh, let's see what it's called. Yeah, shop. And then we fire this for the player. So player comma shop. Or we can just pass the player dot player GUI uh, dot in game dot shop. Yeah, like this. Then we just go to our clients and scroll down uh, like above this no not above this we just delete this and just go down here and then what we to do is with the storage dot remote events dot and then the um make frame visible dot on client events connect function and we connect the instance and then instance dot visible is going to be equal to uh, let's go back here and then pass a true here and then let's get the argument option and we make this just the option and now when we go play you see that it's currently visible I'm just going to close it we can walk all the way to the parts. When we click it, you can see that it got visible. And yeah, so this is the uh, finished version of this episode. And the next one, we're going to add the data stores. Uh, thank you all for watching, and see you in the next episode. Peace.